Hello, Nehemias. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. A mí también me aparecía error cuando estaba tratando de entrar. Ajá. Sí. Eso estaba viendo que salía que había otra reunión. Pero Ajá, creo que, que fue error. Creo error yo. Error del Zoom. Ajá. Sí, pero... sí, porque no había ninguna otra reunión. Ah, Ajá. pero bien, ya pudimos entrar. Ay, sí. Ya, ya estamos acá. So, welcome to the class. Hello, Lizeth. Hello, Mario. How are you doing, Mario? Doing well? Hello. Hi, ¿qué tal? So, so. So, so, why? Do you have a lot of work? A lot of work to do? Tiene mucho trabajo. No. Yes. Mm. Está pesadito ahorita. Ah, ok. And in this moment, are you at work? ¿Y ahorita todavía estás en, en el trabajo? No. No, ahorita hace poco vine. Ah, ok. Well, nice to have you over here, Mario. Sí, me imagino que a veces cuesta con, con el trabajo. But nice to have you over here. So, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to take the attendance and then we, we can continue. Okay, one moment. Um, let me see. So we start with Daisy, Daisy Yesenia, Doris de Casaneda, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario. Present. Thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lizette. Thank you, Katia. Lizette del Carmen. Maricela. Maricela del Present. Carmen. Thank you, Maricela. Minet Rivera. Yeah. Eh, Nehemías, regalo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nehemías. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. René Guardado, Rina Espinosa, Rosy Meléndez, Present. Rosy, Vladimir Antonio, Yanira Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Zulma Lorena. Okay, so now we can start. Hi, Alberto. Welcome to the class. Nice to have you over here. Hello, I'm here. Hi, How welcome. Are you? I'm doing well. And you? you. <laughs> ready to yeah. study? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, that's the attitude. Okay, so we're going to start with an activity in English. This activity is called Stop the Bus. In Spanish, it's called Bachillerato Stop. So I think that you guys are familiar with this activity. I'm going to share with you some categories that this game is going to contain. Okay, you have letter, we will have name, and the next category is going to be food, animal, that will be the next one. Animal, we're going to add a verb and a thin. I'm going to put it like this, object. Okay, so I'm going to give you the letter and you guys have to put a name, food, animal, verb, and object with the letter I give you. Okay, yo les doy la letra y ustedes tratan de llenar todas las categorías con esa letra. If you finish, please say stop. Okay, cuando terminen, dicen stop. Do you have questions about the game? No sé si tienen alguna duda de cómo funciona. No, we're clear. 
Okay, so we start with the letter B. Letter B, as in baby. Yeah, three. Hmm? When you finish, say stop. Remember, if you finish, you can say stop. El primero que ya tenga todas las categorías puede decir stop. Stop. Okay, Nehemias, tell us what you have. Name with B. Uh, Brittany. Aha, uh -huh. food. Bread. Aha, uh -huh. animal. Fear. Yes, verb. Believe. Mm -hmm. An object. Both. Excellent. Okay, choose the next letter, Nehemias. It's your turn to choose. Which letter? ¿Con qué letra mm. seguimos? L. L. Okay, letter L. You can start. En Nelson. You have to complete the categories. La idea es de poner un nombre con L, food with L, animal with L, that starts, que empiece con la letra. Como bachillerato stop, but in English. Ah, okay, okay. Okay.
Stop. Ok, thank you, Alberto. Va a preguntar y vaya, ¿qué tal, Iván? Ok, Alberto, name with L. Laura. Ajá, food. Lasaña. Ajá, animal. Lion. Bear. Love. Love. Ajá, and object. Lamp. Lamp, excellent. Yes, there you have all of them. Tell us the next letter, La Alberto. Next letter. Letter, letter C. C. Yes. Así. Okay. You can you can start. Okay, Nehemias, tell us name. Carlos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Food. Kate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Animal. Crocodile. Uh -huh. Yes, bear. Uh, cow. Uh -huh. Repeat. Com. No, cow. Cow. Com. C A L M. Like this. No, C A L L. Ah, cold. Okay, cold. sorry. An object? Car. Car. Yes, very good. Just the pronunciation of the animal will be cocodrile. Cocodrile. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, last letter, Nehemiah. Tell us one last letter. Um, M. Letter M. Okay, that's the last one. Hello, Rafa and Zulma. We're playing Stop the Bus. You have to think about a name with M, food that starts with M, an animal with M, a verb, and an object with M. If you finish, you have to say stop. Cuando tengan todas estas cosas, pueden decir stop. That is what we're doing. Letter M. Do you understand, Rafa and Zulma? Okay, oh, teacher. Ahorita empezamos. Okay. And you, Rafa, questions about the activity? No. I don't hear you, Rafa. No, no se oye nada. Entiendo, teacher, que hay que buscarle un nombre, una comida, un animal, un verbo y un, un uh -huh. objeto con, con, con la um, letra. Okay. Yes. And if you finish, you say stop. Teacher here. Yes, now I hear you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Jenny, you finish. Sí. Okay, guys, you can stop. Jenny, name with M. Monica. Uh huh. Mon what? Um, Milanesa. Mm, okay. Animal monkey. 
Uh -huh. O verbs, le puse, ahí dice, mother. No sé si está bien eso. Mother, verbo. ¿Cómo lo deletrea? Uh, How do you spell it? Mo mother, madre, mother. Ah, ok, no, no es un verbo. Es, es, es verbo. Es un nombre. Ah, pues que sigan, perdí. <risa> ok, Jane. <risa> Hace falta. Right, okay. teacher. Ok, Nelson has the verb. What verb do you have? Uh, with, with letter M. Uh -huh. Mirna. Mirna. Ah, ok, the name Mirna. Full is Macy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Macy. Macy. Animal, monkey, bird, make. An uh, object. Object, money. Money. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Sorry, with the name, which one? Food, which one did you use? Macy. Macy. How do you spell it? M, M, A. Mm -hmm. How do you say letter E? I. I, F, E. V, E. Mm, I think I didn't get it. Can you send it in the chat? Because I don't know what that food is, so I want to know. But thank you, Nelson, and thank you guys for your participation. Mm -hmm. You did very well. Sometimes it's difficult to think about something in a specific area but it helped us to, to practice vocabulary. Okay, so we, we still continue in unit number three. Let me just go to the right page. Let me see. What do you mean, Nelson? I'm not familiar, Alberto, I'm not familiar with that word. Teacher, I don't understand. Oh, ¿cuál es esa palabra? No estoy familiarizada con eso que mandó. Está mute, Nelson. Alberto. Teacher, es como el maíz dulce, el maíz amarillo. Ah, ok, let me see. It's the first time I see it. Mm. Ah, ok. Corn. Yo lo conozco más como corn than maize. Ok. Es una nueva palabra to me. Thank you. Es que Thank you very much. A mí no se me olvidó este, no se me olvidó este una, de este una vez que me lo preguntaron. ¿Le preguntaron qué? ¿Cómo se decía? O sea, estamos, estamos, ajá. Este, ah. Entonces no se me olvidó. Ah, ok. Si sí, yo no lo utilizo como maize, solo como corn. Sure. Okay. Uh -huh. But thank you. Now we have a new okay. word in my vocabulary. Okay, so we continue here, unit three. You will be able to ask for and provide specific information. Oops, no, sorry, this is not the one. Uh, this is the one. Use present continuous for temporary situations at your workplace. So there you have an idea about the next use of present continuous for temporary situations. We will study it in a moment. We start with the questions we have in the book. So we start with question number one. Katia, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? Temporary activities you are doing at Corporin. No hago ninguna. No temporary activities. Only permanent no. activities. The same activities. Sí. Lo mismo todos los días. Ah, okay. It doesn't change. Okay. Thank you. And Joanna, what about you? Do you have temporary activities? Are you doing some temporary activities? 
Um, uh, how do you say certification? Certification. Okay. But the verb. Yeah. No. Certify. Okay. Uh, I am certify the providers. You're certifying providers. Where do you work, Joa? I am once a month. Where do you work? In which company? Uh, uh, in the Atlantida Bank. Ah, the bank. And you are certifying providers. Yes. Okay. When are you going to finish? Sorry, teacher. When are you going to finish? When are you finishing the certification process? Um, on November. Mm, till November. In two months. One or two months. Ah, okay. Okay, Joa, thank you for your answer. And let's continue with Daisy. Are you there, Daisy? Hi, Daisy. Hi, teacher. Can you tell us some temporary activities you are doing at your workplace these days? Um, uh, how do you say? Um, uh, capacitación para uh, poder cobrar con Bitcoin. Trainings, Bitcoin trainings. Okay. That is what you can do. You can say, I am having Bitcoin trainings. I am having, having Bitcoin trainings. Train. Train. Uh -huh. When are you finishing the trainings? Um, uh, aún no tenemos una fecha así específica. Mm -hmm. There's uh, no, no specific. Uh, Ajá, no nos ha informado si va a ser por varios días. Mm -hmm. But they are teaching you how to use Bitcoin, the app. Yes. Ajá. Ok, thank you, Daisy. En Vladimir, any temporary activity at the bank? Temporary activities you are doing? Not really. In this moment, no. Uh, no hay uh, activities. I'm not, I'm not doing temporary activities. Not what about because, your co uh, What about your co-workers, your partners in the bank? No sé qué. ¿Qué hay de sus compañeros de trabajo? What about your co-workers? No, really. Uh, no hay uh, new uh, temporary activities because uh, están preparando la capacitación sobre toda la estructura que se va a manejar. No le impartieron, entonces no tenemos todavía el tema. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, so you're not doing it yet. You're still waiting uh -huh. for the training. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, thank you. Let's see, Rafa. What are temporary activities your co-workers are doing? Temporary activities your co-workers are doing. Uh. Now it's uh, barrer, sweep the office. Sweep. They sweep are the sweeping. Office. Yes, mm -hmm. because my co-worker no arrive at work. <laughs> ah, okay. So that is why they are sweeping the office. And, and my co-workers happy give $30. Ah. Victory. Ah, okay. That's nice. So that, that is the temporary activity, sweeping the floor, cleaning the office. Yes. Okay, Rafa, 
Thank you. So we will continue with the role play so you can practice pronunciation a little bit more. Here we have the conversation between Beth and Ever. So I will read it first. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right, I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great, well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay, so we will start with Zulma and Nelson. Zulma, you are Beth? And Nelson, Nelson Rene, you are Eva. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hi, Beth. Long, long time no see. Uh, how are you? Hello. Uh, what are you doing that day? I am okay. Well. I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course day, this day. How about you? At a coincidence, I also taking an English course. English is essential. I know a college, a college who completed the course is taking a writing in English this day. You are right. I am studying on me. Um, ¿Cómo se dice esa palabra, teacher? On. On. On you come. I am reading novel, novels to have better results. Read. Well, I am doing, I am doing listening exercise. They hell it up. Okay, thank you, Nelson and, and Zulma. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation a little bit. Okay, here, this one is colleague. 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 Studying. Studying. Better. 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 Yes. Results. Results. And this one is great. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. 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 Yes. Okay, so one more time. Colleague, studying, better results, and great. Uh -huh. Nelson, please repeat. Okay. okay. College, uh, study, mm -hmm. uh, better. Result. Uh, ah, better result and great. Okay, thank you, Nelson and Zulma. Let's continue. Uh, sorry, Zulma. Let's continue with Rene. Hi, Rene. Welcome to the class. Can you please do it with Vladimir? You are going sure. to be ever Rene and Vladimir. You are best. You right. you can start. Okay. All right. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. That's Ever you doing uh, this day. 
I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That's not great. Uh, what a coincidence. I also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace there's day. I know. A college who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am student on my own. You know, I, I am reading novels to have a very result. Great. Uh, well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Thank you, Vladimir and René. I will help you with the pronunciation of some words. This one here is colleague. Colleague. Uh huh. Colleague. Yes. I know. A colleague. Correct. First. Uh huh. It, it looks like college, right? Like the word college, yeah, but this one is colleague. Uh -huh. Colleague. And yes, that's the pronunciation. Okay. And here, this one, guys. Stabbing. It sounds like A when you say it, not like you. Stabbing. <laughs> huh? yeah. So just stabbing. stabbing and better results. Yeah. That's the, the way. Results. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, okay. Yo les recuerdo, Vladimir. Don't worry. Okay, so let's continue with Marce. Hello, Marce, welcome. Can you continue with Nehemias? Marce, you are you are Beth, and Nehemias, you are Ever. You start, Nehemias. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time you see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well. I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a colleague who completed completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Okay. Thank right. you, Nemi. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, sorry that I interrupted you before. Okay, so just these words. This one is coincidence. That's coincidence. the way. Coincidence. Uh -huh. Yes. And the one that you see here is completed. That's the way it sounds. Mm, completed. Mm -hmm. Yes, completed. And taking. Taking. Yes, just those ones. Besides that, we did well. Okay, thank you, Nehemias and Marce. Now, Jani, Jani and Alberto. Jani, you are Beth, and Alberto, you go first. You are ever. Hi, Beth. Long time, Nuti. How are you? Hello, Dever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on uh, a new project and also uh, I am taking an English course to say, how about you? Uh, this sounds great, what I consider, and also talking an English course. English is essential of the workplace this day. I know, 
a college to complete the, the course is taking a uh, training in angle of this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You come. I am, I am re reading novel to have better result. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They have a lot. You guys, Jani, here you can say sounds. Sounds great. Okay. Sounds, sounds great. great. Sounds. Coincidence. 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 Uh huh. Coincidence. Coincidence. Okay. Okay, so sounds great and coincidence. Okay, sounds great and coincidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Katia, Maricela. Katia, you go first. You are ever. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Maricela, are you here? Or maybe she's not here. Maricela? No. Mario, are you here? Can you continue, Mario? Yep. Okay. So you are Beth, Mario. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no yeah, see. How are you? Hello, everyone. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How are you? How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. Um, also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a, a training in England these days. You're sure, right. I am still studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great, great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Hey, thank you guys. This one is exercises. That is the way it sounds, exercises. Thank you. And lastly, Daisy and Rosie. Daisy, you start, you are ever. And Rosie, you are Beth. Hi Beth, long time you see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about, about you? That sounds great. What I coincidence I am also taking an English course. English is essential of the workplace this day. I know a colleague who completes the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. 
read well. I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, thank you, Rosy and Daisy. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation too before we go on. This one is coincidence. What a coincidence. Coincidence. Uh huh. These days. These, These days. Course. Course. Great. Great. That's the way it sounds. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Is there anything I can help you with? Questions about the conversation? Uh, I have like, a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what is this? O-W-N. Oh. Own. It is a phrase. This is a phrase that you use when you do something alone or with no help. You study with no teacher, only you. So you study on okay. your own. Mm -hmm. Anything else that I can help you with? Guys, Katia, Joanna, Marce? No, no questions. Okay, so Joanna, question number one about the conversation. Question number one, what are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? And I'm going to try to show you the conversation and, and the questions, Joa. Okay, what are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? And work, working uh, on a new project. Mm -hmm. Who is doing that? And, uh, Beth or Ever? Ever. Mm -hmm. And Beth. Uh, mm, Uh, taking an English course. Uh, um, coinciding with the uh, the same activity. They have some similarities. Some activities yes. in common. Mm -hmm. Okay, Joa, do you want to include something else or is that it? Um, studying, uh, taking a, a training in England, ever. Mm, it says a colleague. A colleague. Ah, okay, uh -huh. yes. But okay, if you want to, you can leave it like that. We, we will try to break it up. Thank you, Joa. Okay, so okay. let's do it like this. Let's talk about ever. Okay, so we will start with Nehemias. Tell me activities that ever is doing, Nehemias. Activities ever is doing. There are like three activities Ever uh, is doing. Taking in English course. Okay, that's one. Uh, uh, doing listening exercise. That's two. And number three? Uh, working uh, on a new project. That's three. Yes. Okay. That is ever. Thank you, Naomi. Now, Rafa, what about Beth? 
What activities is she doing? B. Activities. Um, there are three activities. Is, is uh, taking an English course. Mm -hmm. One. Uh, she's studying. Um, well, she's reading novels. Yes, that's two. And one more. I think there are only, only two activities. Sorry, only two. You finish. I got finish. confused. Uh huh. She's studying on her own and reading novels. Mm -hmm. And that is that is what they have. Oh, and the English, the English class. Sorry, three, three activities. But she's studying on her own. Okay, Rafa. Thank you. And now, what do they have in common, Katia? What do they have in common? What things do, I'm sorry, what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation, Kathy? I, I am taking an um, English course too. Mm -hmm. You're taking an English course, English classes. Okay, thank you. So now we will continue with the grammar. I think I told you yesterday, right? But we're going to study another use that we can give to present per. I'm sorry, present continuous. Number one, who can tell me the first use? ¿Quién se acuerda de uno de los usos de present continuous? We have studied two. Hemos estudiado dos, verdad? Who can tell me one? One of them, or maybe I'll be specific. Alberto, can you tell us one? One use of present continuous. I Just, don't remember very well. Okay. Now, Rene, do you remember a use? One, one of the ways to use present continuous. Yes, Marcel? Activities happening in the moment of uh -huh. the speech. Correct. Thank you, Marce. That is one use. Activities happening right now. And the second use, who remembers? It's activities that is going to happen in the future. Future plans. Correct. And number three, temporary situations. That's the one we're going to study in this moment. How to use present continuous for temporary situations. Okay, let me let me go here. This is another option, okay? And let's remember the formula. The formula is important. Jani, do you remember the formula? Se recuerda de la de la formula, Jani? Que utilizamos yes. en present continuous. Ajá. Yes. Eh, subject. Subject. Uh -huh. Subject. Subject. Eh, B. To be. Uh -huh. Verb. Verb plus ing. Uh -huh. Complement. <coughs> Thank you. So this is the, the structure, just for you to remember. Verb plus, I will change this, plus ing. This is the structure that we will use. Esa sería siempre la estructura que tienen que utilizar. Present continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, we are talking about temporary situations. When we talk about something temporary, is something that is not permanent, okay? 
something that is not permanent. And we, we usually, I will put it here, the action or the situation. Um, is done, well, I will change it. The action or the situation is not permanent. Permanent, okay, it is temporary, maybe just for one week, for a month or a year, okay, but it's not forever. Okay, es una actividad temporal, temporal. So it's a long-term activity. Que sabemos que en cierto momento se va a acabar. Examples, examples. I can say, I am taking piano lessons. Okay, it's a temporary activity, I'm learning I'm learning to use the piano or the English classes that you have in this moment. It is a temporary activity. You can say, I am, or let's do it like this. <laughs> you are learning or studying English, okay? You are studying English. The place where you work, the place where you work, uh, we don't know if it's, it is forever. You can say, I'm working. And then you mention the place, I'm working in a hospital. Or I can say, Jose, Temporary activity. Jose is working on a project. Okay, it is a temporary activity. Or imagine, imagine that you live in Santa Ana, but because of your job, you have to travel. So you have to travel to San Salvador. You are living in San Salvador, in San Salvador. Okay, I am living in San Salvador because I work here. Están viviendo en San Salvador porque por su trabajo, pero ahí no es su residencia permanente. It is temporary. So this is another way we can use present continuous. We have um, some phrases that we commonly use with this. Hay unas frases que usualmente se utilizan cuando utilizamos present continuous de esta manera. I'm going to, I'm going to put them here. Expressions like these days, these days, at the moment or temporary, okay? You can use them. Podrían utilizarlas just to give more emphasis to the idea. I'm leaving, um, let me put it here. You are living in San Salvador at, at the, moment, okay? To give emphasis that is temporary. Or I can say, I am reading a new book these days. I am reading a new book these days, okay? It is a temporary activity. Okay, entonces este es otro uso que le pueden dar a present continuous, que pueden utilizarlo cuando hablan de actividades que son como a largo plazo, pero en algún momento sabemos que se va a terminar esa actividad, no es algo permanente. 
como lo que ven acá. Son cosas momentáneas. Ahora, ¿qué tan momentáneo es? Depende de ustedes. Puede ser una activity que dure una semana, como puede ser que dure años, ¿verdad? Pero si es temporal, pueden utilizar present continuous. Así como puedo decir, I'm studying in the university, que toma ocho años, nueve años, pero es temporal. Va a acabar en algún momento. You can use present continuous. Can you tell me something? Something that you are doing temporary? Pueden decirme ustedes una actividad temporal que tienen. En use present continuous, please. Who is ready? Mario. Uh -huh. Working extra hours. You are working extra hours. Uh -huh. Over. Correct. It's a temporary activity. And you guys, who else is ready to share a temporary activity? I'm okay. working in Sayapango City. Correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nelson, Alberto. Mm -hmm. Katia, are you ready? Or Joanna? Rafa? Uh -huh. I'm watching TV these days. Maybe you can say, I'm watching TV in the night these days, to be a little bit more specific. Okay. Uh -huh. Because if you say it just like that, it sounds like a regular routine. Si no, parecería como algo de la rutina. Okay, oh. Rafa. Thank you. I am, I am taking vacation these days. You're taking vacations. Okay, yes. That would be one name, yes. Thank you. Who else is ready? I can say I am working at home at this moment. Yes, uh -huh. it will be a temporary activity because maybe someday you have to go back. It's not permanent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Rene. Who else is ready? I am celebrating 25 years. Mm, it sounds okay, but it sounds like a future event, Marce. It has to be something that is, that you're doing several times. Tiene que haber cierta repetición, Marce para que se pueda considerar una actividad como a largo plazo. Think about another one, Marcy, and let me know when you have it. Mm. Katia, yes? Um, tengo una pregunta. Uh -huh. este, y con las actividades regulares, también se puede utilizar, por ejemplo, comer. I, Jose is eating pizza. Mm, no, no, tiene que ser como una actividad temporal y comer es permanente. That is something that you have to. <laughs> si no lo hacemos, nos morimos. Pero tiene que ser, ajá. Si menciona una, un tipo de comida en específico, un tipo de actividad en específico. Que hace todos los días, ¿verdad? Pero eh, es una actividad como temporal. ¿verdad? Ok, ahí sí. Mm -hmm. Porque okay. la idea es que sea una situación que se repite por un periodo largo de tiempo, pero que ustedes saben o de que sabemos que va a terminar, que no es permanente. Y esa duración puede ser de semanas, meses o años. No hay un tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero no es permanente. Ok, uh -huh. gracias. Yes. Eh, teacher. 
Uh, sorry, Nehemias and then Yanni. Ajá, Nehemias. Eh, como decir comer vegetales, mm -hmm. porque está a dieta. Ajá, ahí sí. ¿Verdad? Porque no es algo de siempre, solo lo hace por la dieta. O I'm, I'm doing a diet, o estoy haciendo una dieta, podría ser. I'm doing a diet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Yes, Yanni, what is your question? Um, estructuré una y, y quiero saber si es en, en bajo eh, yes, lo que yeah. estamos hablando. Eh, puede ser, I am working mm -hmm. the, the month of October. I'm working, <coughs> pero ahí eh, diría... Sabare, uh, sabare. Saturdays. Uh -huh. I am working. Ah, ok. The Saturday month of October. Okay, just the structure. Maybe you can say in, in September or in October. Mm, October. Okay, mm, ahí sería futuro. Futuro, ah, porque present, todavía no lo ha empezado a hacer. Present sería September. Tiene que ya haberlo hecho. Tiene que estar haciendo esa actividad. Si ah, no fuera okay. solo futuro, ¿eh? I'm going to be or I'm working Saturdays. Sería la misma estructura, Jenny, solo que sería en otro uso de present continuous, que sería mm -hmm. para una actividad futura. I am working this Saturday. Saturdays. Mm -hmm. in, Saturday. in October. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, okay. I'm going to take the attendance before we continue. I have to take the attendance in this, in this moment. So we start with Daisy, Yesenia. Yes, Thank you. Yes, it is Joanna, Jennifer Marcela. Yes. Okay, Jose Mario. Yes. Thank you. Katia Gabriela, Lisette yes. del Carmen. Okay, and then Maricela del Carmen, Mauricio Castaneda, Minet Rivera, Nehemias Regalo, Nelson Present. Alberto, okay, Nelson Present. René, Present. Present. Rafael Antonio and René Guardado, Present. okay, Rina Present. Espinosa and Rosy Meléndez. Present. Okay. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio, Yanira Lisset, and Present. Zulma. Thank Present. you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, um, so do you have questions? Marce, I don't know if you have your example. Zulma, Rosy, Nelson, Daisy. Do you have your examples? Mario, you can also send it by chat. Ajá, Daisy. Ah, uh, yes, Zulma. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo digo eh, ayudo a mi jefe porque él está incapacitado? I'm helping I'll my help. boss. I am helping my boss. Yeah. Eh, Perdón. Because he is. Because. Voy a anotar, pero. Okay. I'm I helping am... my boss. My, ¿Sí? my boss because, because he is uh -huh. on a medical oh. leave. Uh, medical. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yes, Stacy, do you have yours? Uh, I am I am not exercising these days. Mm -hmm. I'm not exercising these days. Okay, thank you. And Rafa, okay, that one, Rafa, it's correct. Estaría bien solo que está siendo en otra, en otro uso, como algo que está pasando ahorita, in, at this moment. Si no, we are having meetings. We are having a meeting every day these days or in this moment. 
Marce, ese también sería como futuro, ese uso de, de present continuous. La idea, Marce, es que sea una actividad que ya esté realizando y que todavía la vaya a seguir haciendo. Como estar en la universidad. I am studying in the nights. Ahí sí sería una, una oración o algo a largo plazo. Do you have questions, guys? No sé si me han entendido la idea de cómo funciona o sienten que todavía no. Una pregunta, una, una última uh -huh. pregunta. Yes. Si, si es como un holiday, si aplica. No. O no, el, el que me enviaste, Katia. Uh -huh. yes. No, porque no es oh. una acción... Ahí sería como futuro, como algo que vamos a hacer. O sea, de que una actividad... Pero, uh, Ajá, dime. Como, como se repite siempre, ¿verdad? Pero el periodo que dura, así lo, lo entendí yo, ¿verdad? Pero sería una actividad que... Como una actividad regular, ¿verdad? Pero temporal. Ya me confundí. Pero celebrar la independencia es permanente o es, o es temporal. ¿Se hace siempre o no se hace cada año? ¿Qué se opinas? Hace, es permanente, sí. Es, es permanente. permanente. Ajá, <risa> que ya es como una regular activity, solo que se hace una vez. Entonces, tiene que ser una actividad que ya estén haciendo, pero que ustedes saben que va a terminar. Esa actividad que están haciendo no es para siempre. Tiene un final. Okay. Ajá. That okay. is the, the way it works. Alberto, do you Teacher. have a comment? Uh -huh. For example, uh, I'm, teach, I'm teaching kickboxing. Uh -huh. Correct. I'm teaching kickboxing. Yes, that works. Okay, so Marcia, okay. did you understand? If not, ahí voy a llegar un ratito a su, a su room porque vamos a seguir practicando present continuous in this moment. I'm going to share with you the exercise. It's to practice present continuous. I sent this on the group. It's on the group. Exercise one, you have yeah. to, yes. Uh, Rina? Sí, ay, disculpe que la interrumpí. Uh -huh. Solo quería decirle que me voy a salir de la clase porque no estoy bien. De ah, salud. Okay. Está bien, Rina. Le voy a escribir en un momento. No sé si va a poder contestarme, pero le voy a escribir. Um, es, sí, que me he tomado unos medicamentos y una inyección y, y no sé que no puedo bien. abrir los ojos. Ok, ok, sí, sí. no hay problema. Yo le, le voy a escribir, tal vez okay. mira mi mensaje, pero está bien. Uh -huh. Ok, no problema. Gracias. Bye. Ok, so, yes, the first part is about you adding ing, the ing form of the verb. Part number two, it's about using, right? Is, are, or am. You have to use the verb be. Part number three, you have to use the negative form of the verb be. So you have to look at the subject. And part number four, it says write the correct form. You have to use the subject and then complete, complete the sentence. Do you have a question? Do you have a question about the about the exercise, no? Okay, I'm going to create the rooms and then in a few minutes, I'll bring you back. Okay, so Daisy, it is, it is Joanna and Marcela, you will be working together. Then Jose, Mario, Katia, and Zulma, you'll be working together as well. Nehemias, 
Nelson Alberto and Nelson René. Group number four, Rafa, René, and Rosy. And the last one, Jani and Vladimir. Okay, so please open the room. Hi. Eh, Marce, no sé si ya entendiste un poco más. Si no, te puedo llevar al main room y seguimos practicando. ¿Cómo sientes el tema? ¿Ya entendiste o no? Es que esa parte no la entiendo donde dice actividades que se repiten. Creo, creo que son temporales. No entiendo. Vaya, vámonos al otro room para que así puedan seguir trabajando Daisy en, en yo y yo, yo te explico. Solo voy a enviarte okay. una invitación ahí para ir al main room. Ya llego. Hi, Jani. No le ha venido eh, sí. Vladimir. No. No ha aparecido todavía. Ah, ok. Tal vez ya va a venir. Dígame, Jani, do you have a question? Este, el, el, es, nos mandó el, el, la página. Ajá, la página. Ajá, sí, la envié. No, no está ahí. Está antes de los comentarios de Nehemías. Uh -huh. Sí, ya la encontré, teacher. Ahí está, bye. Uh -huh. Okay. Voy a ver si cualquier cosa le envío para acá a Vladimir. Si no, ahí trabaje usted solita para mientras. Y cualquier cosa ahí Vaya, me llama. Uh -huh. Vaya, Yanni. La voy okay. a dejar entonces. Ok. Ok, Marce, I'm here. Entonces, sí, dime, ¿qué es lo que dices que no entiendes? Esto de las frecuencias de las actividades, porque vaya, por ejemplo, en el ejemplo de las vacaciones, o sea, es algo que se repite, pero que no es permanente porque solo dura 15 días. Entonces, ahí es donde me pierdo. O sea, según yo, es, mi ejemplo estaba bien, va, porque es algo que se repite, pero que no es permanente porque solo son 15 días y digamos, es cada año. Así como lo de la universidad. O no sé, no entiendo. Ok. Um, bueno, creo que tal vez la manera en la que ves las vacaciones es la que está diferente a la manera en la que veo yo. O sea, empecemos con, con la palabra temporal. ¿Cómo podrías definir esa palabra, Marcia? Temporal. Es? Ajá, es como algo del momento ajá, lo que es o sea, algo del momento que se va a acabar ajá, ok con las vacaciones como yo lo percibo es como una actividad que tendrás por 15 días pero no lo estás haciendo todo el tiempo o sea, ahorita estás trabajando y eso es lo que vas a seguir haciendo pero Tendrás un lapso de 15 días de vacaciones. Entonces, para mí temporal es como la universidad. O sea, la universidad puedes llevar ya ahorita un año, dos años y continúa, ¿verdad? Pero para mí la vacación es como una rutina. Pero creo que es como lo estamos percibiendo. Porque si lo veo del punto de vista que lo dices, podría ser una actividad temporal. Solo que ajá, yo no lo logro, no lo logro procesar así. Ajá, yo porque, o sea, yo me ponía en que vaya ahorita, estoy de vacaciones y solo me van a durar 15 días y se me van a terminar. Entonces, y de ahí se van a volver a repetir hasta el otro año. Entonces yo por eso pensaba que era así, pero puede ser, teacher, así como, digamos, yo ahorita tra estoy trabajando de cajera en un banco. 
uh -huh. pero o sea, digamos en unos dos años ya no voy a estar de cajera, entonces voy a estar en otro trabajo, en otra posición, entonces podría Ay, ser un sí. ejemplo así. Uh -huh. Correcto. Creo que porque para ti temporal es como algo que solo se hace un ratito, ¿verdad? Pero temporal en ese sentido es como algo que se está haciendo o trabajando, pero solo en un tiempo. Así como el trabajo. I'm working in the bank in this moment. O sea, puede que uno no se vea todo el tiempo en el mismo, en la misma profesión. Puede ser algo temporal. Or I'm studying in this moment. I'm studying English. Es una actividad temporal porque va a llegar un momento en el que ya serás bilingüe que ya no necesitarás seguir estudiando. ¿Verdad? Ay, yo también ahí me confundí porque, vaya, por ejemplo, en eso de que, de que tengo 25 años y ya... De los ajá. Años, entonces ahí es donde me confundí. Sí, pero ajá, ahí sí es como algo que solo una vez va a pasar. De celebrar los 25. Sí, no. No, ¿verdad? Creo que todavía no logramos. Quiero... Quiero ver si está aquí un, un, unos ejemplos. Vaya, tenemos aquí how to use simple present continuous, I'm sorry, for temporary situations. Podemos utilizar las, estas, estas frases. These days, at the moment, or temporary. Aquí hay unos ejemplos. I'm reading a new book these days. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. La siguiente dice, Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. The meeting will finish tarde o temprano, sooner or later. We are taking an English course. The course will end. El curso también va a terminar. Entonces, en otras palabras, Cualquier actividad que sabemos que va a terminar, podemos utilizar present continuous. ¿Puedes tratar de darme otros ejemplos, Marce, para ver si estamos en, en sincronía? Podría ser, I am cooking a... Ok, porque, ay no, es que no sé, dicha. No. Porque okay. o sea, voy a cocinar ahora y, y no lo voy a repetir en mucho tiempo. Ah, ok. ¿Y qué hay en el trabajo? ¿No hay actividades temporales que tengas que hacer en este mes ah, o en, en estos días? Pero, ajá, vaya, por ejemplo, podría ser, digamos, yo entreno cajeros, pero digamos por un mes y de ahí Ay, a, sí. vuelven a hacer contrataciones, digamos en un okay. año o dos. Podría ser. Ajá. Ajá, esa podría ser una temporary activity. Porque Ay, solo okay. es de ahorita. You are training employees or, or bank tellers. ¿Qué otra actividad estás haciendo, pero... Va a terminar una actividad a corto plazo. O por ejemplo, trabajos de re renovación en casa. Eso podría, podría ser. ser como un concurso también. Por ejemplo, este mes, todo septiembre están haciendo como un concurso de de bajar de peso y todo eso, pero o sea, solo va a ser este mes y de ahí se va a terminar. Podría ser. Mm -hmm. They are having a contest in this moment or in this month. month. Mm -hmm. Eso estaría mejor. Ok, si piensas en más, los puedes enviar y los sigo viendo. Pero creo que ya, ya estamos mejor. Sí. Ajá, sí, ya estoy, ajá, ya estoy captando mejor la idea. Ok, ok, Marce. Sounds good. Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope you had enough time to, to complete it. We will review it really quick. Okay, so we will start with Daisy and Joanna. Okay, so Daisy, watch and sing. What will be the, 
the ing form watching mm -hmm. and, and singing watching and singing thank you and joe can you mention the other three drawing and writing uh -huh. drawing writing and the last one joe uh, writing writing yes so this should be the way you should have it just write and write remove the e and change it for i ing okay part number two let's continue with Jose Mario, Katia, and Zulma. Okay, Jose Mario, number one. Sorry. Marta. Marta isn't, isn't clean. Oops, sorry. Number two, they. Exercise two. Mm -hmm. Number one, number two. Number two. Eh, okay, <laughs> exercise two, exercise number one. Baby. <laughs> he is bringing me a pen. He is, okay, that's number two. Okay, <laughs> but yes. Thank you, Mario. Katia, number one, they. They are looking at me. They are, aha, uh -huh. Zulma, number three. Are you there, Zulma? She is. Uh -huh. She is. Thank you. Okay, Jani, Fiona. And what do we need there, Jani? Sorry, Jani. I muted you again. I don't hear you, Jenny. Fiona is having fun. Is having fun. Uh -huh. Okay, now Nehemiah, number five. I am cleaning. I am cleaning, that's the one. Alberto, number three, exercise number three. Marta. Marta isn't cleaning. Isn't cleaning, yes. And then Rene, next. Okay. Uh, um, sorry, I'll, I'll, Nelson, it's Rene. Three. Oh, I'm no, sorry. I'm okay. Sorry, I confused your names. I'm sorry. Yes, Nelson, Rene. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not. I'm not. I am not. Yes. That's the one. Okay, now Rafael Antonio, number three. Um, it is in bringing me a pen. Yes. Thank you. So it will be like this. Because of the time, because we have other activities to do, I'm going to show you what you should have. Por el tiempo les voy a mostrar lo que deberían tener para que ustedes puedan comparar si tienen lo mismo. So, she isn't. That would be the answer. She isn't. Number five, Fiona and Kathy aren't. Aren't Correct. having fun. So, if you have the same, vamos bien. Uh -huh. Okay, and then the last one, number four, exercise four. He is drawing. Yes. Next one, someone is crying. His friends are baking, baking. a cake, and she. Hey. Is Long. laughing. Laughing. Okay, there you have that one. And the last one, Natalie and Marta are Learn. learning. Learning. Okay, those should be the answers. Así debería de 
de quedar. Yes, Nehemías. Uh, number four is laughing. Uh -huh. uh, the pronounce. Laughing. Suena como F. Laughing. 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 Ok. Y en, en la forma base es laugh. Como F al final. Like this. Laugh. Laughs with the, the S in laughing. That's the way it sounds. Okay, guys, do you have more questions? Teacher, I have a question. What is your question? For example, in exercise, in a, for example, in exercise, exercise, exercise four, in, in number three, mm -hmm. and the, the words baking, uh, I don't, for example, a, Consonant, vowel consonant. No. No es necesario, no es necesario como poner doble, doble K. Eh, no, porque termina es vowel, consonant, vowel. En su forma base es como lo tenemos que, que evaluar. Ah, okay. Entonces okay. es al revés, es vocal, consonante, vocal. Así que tendría que ser al revés. Consonant, vowel, consonant, para que hiciéramos ah, ese cambio. Okay, Thank you, okay. you're welcome. Okay, what we have next is a conversation. We have a conversation to practice speaking. This is the conversation. Role play a chit chat conversation about temporary activities to and two other colleagues are doing these days. If you don't have temporary activities, uh, make it up. Si no tienen temporary activities, invéntenselas, okay, para la conversation. You're going to work with the same group. Vamos a hacer the role plays de tres, van a trabajar con el mismo group. Do you have a question about the role play? Do you have doubts? Algo que no entiendan de cómo va a girar el role play? No? Mm, yo sí tengo duda. Ajá, Yanni, eh, tell me. Eh, What is your question? Vamos a hacer eh, una conversación. Una conversación. Ajá. Ah, ok. Sobre temporary activities. You and Vladimir. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh -huh, are okay. doing this day. Si usted no tiene temporary activities, invéntenselas. Solo para ah, la okay. conversation. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Ok. Perfecto. Okay. Please accept the invitation. ¿Y usted, Mario? Hi. How are you? 
Lo siento que no los pude venir a visitar en, el, en la actividad pasada. Me quedé con Marce. Do you need help? ¿Necesitan algo de ayuda? No. Como dijo que lo inventamos. Bueno. Ajá, sí, por si no tienen actividades. Como Katia, tú mencionaste que no hay nada nuevo, que todo es lo mismo. Entonces, vamos a inventarlo. Mario okay. sí tiene mucho trabajo, así que tal vez él sí puede utilizarlos. Ok, voy a estar acá un ratito escuchándolos para si es necesario ayudarles, ok? But you can continue. Aunque bueno, creo que voy a ir a traer agua. Ya regreso. Ok. Entonces, Mario, este, empiezo de nuevo, mejor. Sería. Sí. Hi, Sulman and Mario. How are you? Hi, Katia. I am fine. And you oh, para preguntarle a usted. I'm fine, thank you. And ahora usted, Mario, diga algo. <laughs> no me ha <dejaron> saludado. <laughs> Hello, ladies. I'm fine. <laughs> ahora sí, Katia. Hola. Uh, Mario. Mario es... Uh, Sí. Do you do you <laughs> no? Where do you working? Le pregunto. No, no, no. Dónde... Yo creo que ahí, ahí debería de ser la pregunta a usted la, de lo que ella dice que hablemos ahorita. De no, de las... porque yo le pregunto dónde trabaja usted, ¿verdad? Ah. Y entonces usted hace esa pregunta, la la la, la sentencia esa bueno. de. de... Ajá. Where do you do, do you work in? No, no sería así, sería como la de ayer, ¿verdad? Sería no, Qué difícil usted. Yo no, yo no le... Where are you working? Uh, working, Mario. Hola. Hola. I am temporarily working extra hours at my job for because... Because... Pero because solo es... En Uber, ¿no? ¿Cómo, cómo? No. no, se puede utilizar ahí. Si él quiere como decir por qué lo hace, puede agregar ahí el dos. Eh, sorry to interrupt. Zulma va a poder quedarse ahora para la sesión. Estaba viendo que le tocaba a usted ahora. No sé si va a poder mm -hmm. quedarse. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. No, no, no. No había visto. Ya mandé el Solo que ajá, ahorita la conexión está un poco rara, no le entiendo bien lo que dice, pero oí que dijo que sí. Así que ahí estamos. Ok, ok, perfecto. Los voy a dejar entonces que sigan. Ahorita todavía les falta, ¿verdad? Todavía no están listos. Voy a ir a ver cómo van sus, ajá, voy a ver cómo van sus compañeros. Ok, see you in a moment. En you. Hi. Oh. How is your Hi. conversation going? Do you need help? Eh, no, teacher, ahorita estábamos practicando y ya. Ah, okay. All right. I will hear you. I will hear you. You can continue. Okay. Quizás entonces no yo digo que después de que terminas de decir tus actividades, eh, las dices seguido, Daisy, porque como les pregunté de una vez a las dos qué, qué estaban haciendo, y quizás Daisy, como ella termina, cuando diga sus actividades, que me pregunte en you qué, qué estoy haciendo yo. Sí. Vaya, y después de eso, nos despedimos. Ah, ajá, ahí nos tendríamos que despedir. Como que, bueno, ya voy a 
como yo me despedí, yo, la, yo despediría, creo que ustedes me contestan también el, el cuando nos despedimos. Vaya, vaya, hagamos ahorita para ver. Comienza otra vez. Yo, oh. eh, hello, how are you? Eh, what are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I am training new employees for bank tellers. I am. Hi, everyone. Have you finished? Kathy. <laughs> ah, okay. Ando viendo si ya todos han terminado. Okay. Do you need help? Do you need help? Do you have questions for me? Eh, no, teacher. No. Estamos preparando las actividades para luego compartirlas y armar la conversación. Ok, all right. Entonces voy a ir a ver cómo van los otros grupos. Ok. okay. Que todavía tienen tiempo. Okay, See you in a moment. Tengo... Similar a... Sorry Hi, to teacher. interrupt. I just wanted to know if you're already finished, if your conversation is done or not yet. Um, me falta un poquito. Okay, yeah. and do you need help? Mm. Or you're fine? Necesitan ayuda? Eh, no, ahorita estoy buscando otra para agregarle más. Ok, en dos more minutos, dos more minutos, we have to go back. Okay. Dos minutos más para que logren ahí irlo terminando. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I'm going to let you continue. See you okay. later. Thank you. Why, what is, what is never? <laughs> Hi. Uh, How is your uh, conversation uh, going? Ay, pasito, pasito. ¿Cómo va? Ya casi terminaron. Mm, ya casi. So. Okay. In about two minutes. En alrededor de dos minutos vamos a regresar para que vayan tratando de hacer la conclusión. Oh, de acuerdo. Okay. Okay. Ajá. Ok, solo les quería decir, los voy a dejar entonces para que puedan ver ahí cómo la terminan, ok? Ok. Hi Alberto, welcome back. You guys finished? You guys are ready? Thank you teacher, yes I'm ready. Okay, excellent. We will wait for Nehemias, Nehemias to come and then you can, you can start. He will be back in a moment. ¿Qué tal va todo en el trabajo Alberto? Pues la verdad es que muy bien, gracias a Dios. El día de ayer eh, tuve problemas eh, exactamente de conectarme a Ibis. Se vino una tormenta. Por el como... agua, me imaginé. Y como es el veo... satelital, ¿verdad? Sí, se me cae. Mm. Bueno, pues ahora porque estoy en el trabajo se me hace un poco más fácil, ¿verdad? Aunque en mi casa ya estoy intentando de buscar una, como una nueva idea, buscar una, una forma de cómo se me facilite todo. Aunque ah, últimamente sí. cuando no pongo la cámara de la semana pasada, cuando no pude, puse la cámara, era porque estaba en un lugar donde podía ver todas las estrellas. ¿vale? Si ponía la cámara, mm. obviamente no me iban a ver. Iban a ver Ajá. todo oscuro, pero sí, este, 
si no puedo activar la cámara, por lo menos siempre estoy como en, en actividad, observando todo, Ajá. sacando mis conclusiones. Así. Ah, ok, Alberto. Ok, now Nehemias, you're here. So Alberto, Nelson, Nehemias, can you start, please? Okay. Hello, guys. Uh, nice to see you. Hey, hello. Uh, me too. Uh, what are you doing this day? Come on. Tell me, Nelson. Hi. Um, hi, hi. Um, I have Dependiendo de la especie, así es el lugar donde... ¿Qué es Nelson Rene? Ah, ok, ok. Um, I, I am training of, of your fry brigade on Saturday. And I am working on Sunday and I am going to cinema. Ah, oh, right. And you, Alberto? Uh, I'm working and uh, the series of Pango because it's and not very far from home in on my off day. I'm teaching kickboxing classes and also I practice speak English with some friends from from the Asia continent. And from Monday and Friday I'm studying uh, English with us. Uh, it's very nice, so a little tired sometimes, but I like I like my my activity. And you tell me. All right, and I am preparing training with the education committee and preparing information for external auditors. It's only. Only one, only once ago, uh, a month or, or a week. Uh, the first activity will last 15 days and the second 10 days. It's a very busy. <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. That's all. Okay, thank you, Nelson, Finish. Alberto, and Nelson, René, Nehemias. You did very well. Good questions, the structure, the use. And you use sometimes present continuous for future activities. That's also acceptable. Uh, just some, some pronunciation tips. Comité, it will be comedy. That is the, the right comedy. way to say it. Uh -huh. Comedy. Comedy. And Asia is Asia. That is the, Asia. the way we have to say it. Uh -huh. Asia. Okay, thank you. Let's see Daisy Yesenia. It is Joanna and Jennifer Marcel. Can you continue, please? Hello, how are you? What are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. I'm training new employees for bank tellers. I'm teaching them everything they need to know about customer service and some transactional cash processes. And you, Daisy? Great. I am reading a healthy food book and I am not watching TV at night. And you, John? I'm doing my resume for a new job and I am also looking for a new card. Oh, that's good. I have to go. Nice to see you, girls. See you later. Bye. See you later. Very Bye. good. Very good. Thank you. It was very well. I appreciate it. Just Daisy, remember the pronunciation of that word. Great. <laughs> that's Great. the way. Yes, that's the way it sounds. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Mario, Katia, and Zulma. Um, perdimos a nuestra compañera. Yes, Zulma tenía problemas de conexión. Y Mario y estábamos entendiéndonos, ¿verdad? Pero no nos dio mucho tiempo. 
Okay. Voy a enviarlos un momento a, al room de nuevo para que puedan hablarlo. En lo que escucho a algunos acá. So, please uh, keep me on. Okay. So, in that case, let's continue with René. René and your, and your group, please. I think you were working with Rafa and Rosie. Yep. Okay. okay. Hello, Rosie and René. Are you doing this? What are you doing this day? Hello, Rafa. I have two activity. The presentation of a new product, a new drink that will go on sale in supermarket this week. And I have to train in the new employees for the new holiday seasons. And you, Rene? Um, well, we were training a new employee for the company to, to help us on our department. Uh, we share with them, with him, our experience in our position. And he is going to be ready for the next week to start working by day of own. And what about you, Rafael? Um, this week, uh, I am cleaning computer. And I am taking a course program these days. OK. See you later, guys. I take care of you later. OK, thank you, guys. It did, you did very well. Um, Rafa, you can say a uh, programming, a uh, programming. Mm -hmm curves that will be the the best way to say it but good questions and the answers were good too Yanni, vladimir can you continue please <laughs> bueno. um, hi Adira, how are you doing hi what are you doing uh, hi um uh, i I am. No. Hello. Hola, hola, me escucha. Yeah. Hi. I am re replacing my boss as at work for today. And you, what do you work? Oh, um, this is great. And as <laughs> um, well, I am. Um, guitar lection every day in English class. Okay. Um, I am I am I am a student to English tonight. Oh this is great. Um anyway I have a great day. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you, Jenny. Well, it's good that you use present continuous. Uh -huh. Ese era el tiempo a utilizar. Present continuous. Just the second question, Jenny. La segunda pregunta que hizo, no sé si era, what are you doing? No. Eh, leí. Eh. <laughs> Traté de darle el seguimiento como le pregunté eh, a Yu cuando yo terminé de, de decirle lo que estaba haciendo, de que estaba reemplazando a mi jefe por dos días eh, en Yu. Y sí le, le pregunté, ¿What do you work? Que ¿A dónde trabajaba? Ah, ¿Where do you work? ¿What do you work? ¿What ah, do okay. you work? ¿Where sería entonces? ¿De dónde? ¿Where? Where. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm going to listen to Katia, Zulma, and Mario. But guys, the last activity that we have is a writing activity. You can do it on your notebook or you can do it by chat. It says that you have to write a six-line paragraph 
about temporary events at your workplace or in your life. Okay, esta es la última activity que tenemos, es a writing activity sobre un párrafo sobre actividades temporales en el trabajo o puede ser en su vida, okay, en un aspecto ya personal. Si no tienen mucho, invéntenlo, ok. La idea es practicar present continuous. Ok, Katia, Mario, en Zulma. Ready? Tenemos algo, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. <laughs> Hi, Zulma and Mario. How are you? Mario, oops. Mario, Zulma. Hello, Katia, I am fine. And you, Ma Katia and Mario? I'm fine, thank you. Mario, I guess he's not there in this moment. I don't know. Okay. Where are you working, Zulma? Sorry, sorry, where? Okay, where are you working, Mario? I work in a company that makes backpacks, bags, all, all kinds. I am working in the Cure Plastic, Zaragoza, La Libertad. Okay. And you have a temporal? Yes, I am watching a series these days. And you, Mario, do you have a temporal activities? Uh, uh, I am working extra hours at my job because at the moment I am beginning. Okay, see you later. Bye. Okay, thank Bye. you, Katya, Zulma, Mario. Thank you for your effort. I appreciate it. And you use present continuous. That's the idea. Well, your classmates are already working on the last activity. The last activity that we have is the one that you see here, where you have to write a paragraph about temporary events. It says here at your workplace, but it can also be in your life, in your personal life. Así que pueden componerlo en su notebook o en el chat. Y yo lo, lo leo. Do you have questions, Katia, Zulma, or Mario? No question. No, okay. Teacher, ¿Y puede, yes. ser lo mismo, ¿puede ser lo mismo que acabamos de decir o tenemos que hacer de otros? Mm, sería bueno que fuera distinto para que pueda practicar más, Rosy. Utilizar otras ideas. Ok. And I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. Solo antes que tome la asistencia, recuerden que mañana ya cerramos la sección 3 de su módulo, así que recuerden la plataforma y terminar mañana la sección. O si ya pueden terminarla hoy, pues mucho mejor. Ok, so Daisy Mezquita. Present. Thank you. Then it is Joanna. Present. Okay. Jennifer Marcela. Present. Jose Mario. Present. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. 
Ninet, <coughs> Ninet Rivera, Nehemías Regalo. Present. Okay, thank you. Nelson Alberto, Nelson René. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Present Rafael teacher. Antonio. Mm -hmm. Present teacher. René Guardado en Rina Espinoso. Present. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Vladimir Antonio. Present, present. Yanira Cepeda. En Zulma present. Lorena. Present. Ok, thank you, Yanni. So now we are ready. Um, okay. I'm going to answer your message uh, in this moment, Marcy. Teacher, mm -hmm. I can send in the chat on the or in the group. Uh, however you want to, como usted le salga mejor. Yo en los dos lugares lo reviso. But yes, guys, because of the time, we will stop here. Si no lo han completado, lo pueden terminar de completar. Y me lo envían más tarde o mañana también. Training, Vladimir. Training, that's, that's the word. Uh, okay, so I'm going to let you go. Okay, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you for coming to the class. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. You tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Good night. Uh, bye, guys. Bye, Renee. Sure. ¿Qué quisiera decir, Marce? Es que como el ejemplo del libro, que el libro lo está leyendo ahorita, pero después lo va a terminar. Mm -hmm. <ríe> ah, pues y, y así un o sea, ahorita lo está teniendo en la panza, pero en algún momento va a salir. <ríe> ah. <ríe> no. mm, yo que, diría que no. Utilizamos el, así el present continuous, pero se utiliza más como she is having... She's having a baby. Pero se utiliza más como para, para como que futuro. She's having a baby next year. Or she's having her baby next year. Así que, ajá. Pero si fuera que está embarazada, ahí sería she is pregnant. Or she has a baby in her stomach. Pero ajá, creo que Pero no iría. Sería, ya no sería el, el uso que le estamos dando ahorita. Ajá, sería como el simple present. Mm. Solo sería having a baby, pero como algo futuro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá, vaya. Vale. Ah, pues voy a buscar otra fecha. Ok, ahí me lo envías Bye. cuando ya lo tengas. Okay. Goodbye, Marce. Ok, Zulma. Now that okay. you and I are here. ¿Hay algo que, que le gustaría reforzar, Zulma? ¿O hay algún uso de, de present continuous que todavía no, no lo entienda mucho? ¿Qué opina? Sí, 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 tengo, sí, sí tengo claro lo, lo, los usos de los, de los eh, presentes continuos. Uh -huh. Porque el primero es para un momento, eh, el momento que estamos viviendo. Para ahorita mismo. Ajá. Para, el segundo eh, es para lo que, lo que pensamos hacer o, lo que, o la acción que se va a hacer. O Ajá, es, como un plan futuro. Ajá, es correcto. Uh -huh. y, y, y ya que vimos ahora son de las actividades temporales. Eh, correcto. Eh, algo que no está dentro de nuestra rutina. Entonces, Ajá. Eh, en algunas pronunciaciones que, que siento que me pronunciación Ajá. Ajá. sí, es cierto, he notado que a veces le cuesta, yo trato de ayudarle verdad siempre le digo, mire aquí así o allá Ajá. Claro. pero 
no sé si quisiera que, que leyéramos y pues ahí no. practicamos la lectura con un... Ok, aquí tengo un párrafo para que lo, lo leo yo primero para que escuche la correcta, la forma correcta y de ahí lo leo usted. Ajá, vale, voy a compartirle pantalla para que lo pueda ver. Ok, vamos a, a leer donde dice Organize Yoga Classes. Vale, voy yo primero. Organize Yoga Classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Okay, Zulma, can you try? Okay, teacher. Organize yoga, yoga class. If you work in the office and you employ I'll sit in a computer every day. Down. Under understand under understand the underestimate underestimate léalo todo y yo luego le le voy a corregir okay. algunas mm -hmm. under under messy the impact you are called have oh they are on the outlook, yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, realize tension, improve brain function, and the lift more. But both goals one does outcome. Okay, thank you, Sulma. The ones that I highlighted or I underlined are the ones we need to work on. Las que ve así son las que vamos a practicar más. Ahora, un consejo que le puedo dar, que le puede ayudar a mejorar su pronunciación es aprenderse canciones en inglés. Alguna canción, óigala y luego la repasa con el lyrics, con la letra. Óigala y cántela. Eso le va a ayudar a la pronunciación. Algo más que también le puede ayudar es, es como leer artículos en inglés. Leer artículos okay. en inglés con el audio. Usted va leyendo, pero va alguien más como leyéndolo, ¿verdad? Hay incluso algunos, algunas aplicaciones que le leen las cosas. Entonces, eso le puede ayudar a la pronunciación. Porque lo que usted necesita es oírlo. Oírlo, cómo se pronuncia para usted poder repetirlo. Y la mejor okay. manera es que usted lo pueda oír, ya sea en canciones, en películas o en readings. Eso le aconsejo, siento que le puede ayudar. Ok, I'm going back here, Zulma. Organized. 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 Mm -hmm. Employees. 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 Uh -huh. Employees. Underestimate. Underestimate. Uh -huh. Release. Release. Yes. Improve. 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 Uh -huh. Outcomes. Outcomes. Out Mm -hmm. Okay, now it is your turn. Number one. Organize. 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 Mm -hmm. Employees. 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 Mm -hmm. 
un, understand. Underestimate. Oh, ah, es que... <ríe> Yo no sé si tengo algún problema de dislexia. <ríe> no, es ok, se le olvidan. Ya me ha pasado a mí, me lo creo o no. Hay palabras que la acabo de oír y se me olvida. Se me olvida y la tengo que volver a oír. So, pasa. <ríe> ok, and the one here. Um, un un sign. Under, no un, underestimate. <laughs> underestimate. Mm -hmm. Next. Real, real, realize. Release. 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 Re Re Release. Uh -huh. Re Release. Next. Improve. 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 Outcomes. 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 Mm -hmm. One more time. Otra vez. Organize. Mm -hmm. Employees. 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 Underestimate. 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 Mm -hmm. No. Release. 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 Se oye como así, mira. Lo voy a escribir acá para que más o menos. Pero esa R, bueno, no es como, como, como I. Release. 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 Ajá. Ok. Improve. 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 Uh -huh. Improve. Improve. Outcome. Outcome. Uh -huh. Ok. One more time. Organize. 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 Ay. Organize. Organize. Mm -hmm. Employees. Mm -hmm. Under. Under. Same. Under. Como. Underestimate. Underestimate. Under mm -hmm. Es como estimar. Mm -hmm. Subestimar. Uh -huh. Underestimate. Underestimate. Mm -hmm. Release. Mm -hmm. Improve. 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 Mm -hmm. Outcomes. Outcomes. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, Zulma, trate de seguir mi recomendación. No sé cómo está con su tiempo, si pasa muy ocupada. A veces hay muchas cosas que hacer. Pero cuando pueda, trate de hacer eso, con canciones que le guste. No sé si le gusta oír música en inglés. Sí, pero ponga, sí, sí. si le gusta, póngase la tarea de que las que le gustan, apréndase la letra. Y así cuando usted se aprende la letra, cuando usted luego la ve, esa palabra usted ya sabe cómo decirlo, porque ya la ha oído. Okay, Así que eso le podría ayudar y pues ya ven la clase, siempre les pongo una conversation, trato de que todos siempre lean, no siempre alcanza el tiempo, pero ajá, la idea es que poco a poco pues vayan recordando ahí las, las palabras. De acuerdo, teacher. gracias por Ok, tiempo. you're welcome, soon. Cualquier cosa ahí me escribe, oye, y le tratamos de ayudar. Okay, Gracias, Zulma, teacher. I'm going to let you go now. It's time to go. See you tomorrow.
Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.